Number one, if I was a child and I was looking a way to make money, I would sell no soliciting signs door to door. Number two, if I owned a gas station that was off a freeway and I wanted to make money, I would pay for a billboard sign that said cleanest bathrooms in the state. Number three, I recently just saw a woman driving a motorized shopping cart and trying to text at the same time. Number four, not all capitalism is good. Are you aware that in America in 1972, there were about 300,000 prisoners and now we're up to 2 million? That is a half a million more than China and China is five times greater the population than us. You may ask why the increase. And the real reason is, is that we've allowed private corporations to contract with the state to run these facilities, so it becomes a for-profit. Most of these prisoners are in there for nonviolent crimes and they have longer sentences. It's crap. Number five, if you're one of those that do not believe in global warming, why don't you consider this? 99% of the scientists agree on global warming. And if there's any conspiracy to believe in, you always gotta go where the money is. And the money lies in corporations that are making money on things that cause global warming. If you think about it, if there's hot fuel and things below the Earth's surface and we bring them up and we put them out in the atmosphere, of course it's going to warm up. And even if America fixes its problem, this is still a world problem. Number six, I'm thinking about doing a Pioneer Day float. They may reject me, but what I'm going to need is about 20 volunteers and all of you need to be women and you will all play my wives. Number seven, it's kind of funny that when people try to talk like God would talk, they use ith on the end of things. Knoweth, taketh, loveth. They, they make God sound like he's got a list. I'm sorry if I'm being blasphemous. Number eight, when I was a child, I wasn't very intimidated by adults. Some of the adults I was very kind to and others I gave a bad time to. This is really based around my interpretation if they were respecting me or not. But when I would get in trouble as a child, I'd always self-reflect and, and really think that it was about me. But then I would sometimes look at these adults and think, man, these people are weird. Now that I'm an adult, these people were pretty weird. Number nine, I have a bad parenting tip. If you're going on a long trip and your kids are not getting along and there's a lot of sibling rivalry, just scan the music station so you can find the most obnoxious music that you can find and crank it up as loud as you can and make them promise that you're not going to turn it down until they quit. Number 10, I like to quote Mother Teresa. She said, the problem with the world is that we draw the circle of our family too small.